And welcome back to my channel, Backlog Gaming Junkie. That is me. And today we're going to try out another new game. I know, I'm Backlog Gaming Junkie here on this channel. I usually play old school games that I've missed over the years, but I found this game uh, and it is called Strafe. It's actually quite new, but look, it looks quite old. It is basically a kind of like the uh, an old school looking FPS first person shooter with 90s graphics uh, but it is considered a new game just came out recently I think a week ago and uh, I thought we'd try this out let's check out some of the options the uh, this menu this interactive menu is kind of cool from back in the day when you hover over something it will kind of be a little bit interactive. It's kind of neat. Let's check out some of the options. Check out the options here. Wow, look at this menu. It's a full, like, DOS screen. Let's see. And the audio. I want to make sure that the audio settings are okay. Everything else looks pretty good. This is played with keyboard and mouse, so uh, forward, back, strafe, left and right. Um, okay, map, you have tab. Yeah, everything I think will be self-explanatory here in a few minutes. Just want to make sure everything looks okay. Yeah, anyway, so we'll go back. Alright, so here we are. This is the, uh, the main area of the startup screen. I guess we're in outer space. And uh, let's just do the tutorial first. Oh look, there's an exit menu. The exit, we can eject. That's kind of cool. Alright, let's do the tutorial. Hello, and congratulations. You've obtained the lucrative job of scout for the Class 9-6 spacecraft Icarus. They're depending on you to locate safe areas full of valuable materials to scrap. It's a rewarding but physically demanding job. So let's begin with a quick health assessment before you begin your training. Start by turning your head side to side and up and down. We need to confirm you can move your head. Prove that you can look around with the mouse. Okay. <laughs> Up, okay, down, left, and right. Thanks. I'm seeing good numbers here. Now if you could please increase your heart rate. Oh, there's a little track. What is it? What? What is going on here? I guess it just has to uh, calibrate something? I don't know what's going on. Okay. Keep it going. Let's test your limits by jumping in place. Really? Okay. Jumping in place. Gnarly jump. Wow. We've never seen results this impressive before. You're more than ready to travel to the edge of the galaxy. Yes, I did say edge. The core system is already oversaturated with scrappers, and we know you'll enjoy an adventure. Here are three quick facts about this core sector. Number one, humanity knows nothing about this sector. Number two, it's a historic opportunity as no scrappers have returned alive from here before. And number three, you'll be fine. You and the team will be beyond contact range, so please take a moment to say your farewells to family and friends. Okay, let's get scrapping. At Icarus, we pride ourselves on collecting and recycling discarded materials and space waste. As a scrapper, you need to recognize scrap as something much more valuable than average trash. <laughs> okay, so we gotta collect scrap. Oh, I see. Alright. We are collecting scrap, people. This is a great tutorial. There we go. Benches allow you to turn scrap into goods. 
On Icarus, ours are calibrated to supply staff with armor and ammunition. Craft ammo, craft armor. Okay. So, I assume these two are armors, and this is ammo? I don't know what that is. Maybe they're both ammo, and they're both armor in various amounts. Alright, let's just craft some armor. Pick it up? Oh, I guess I don't want you to pick it up. It's just about the the fact that you're able to use the machine. Okay, here we go. Craft some ammo. We also allow you to make extra income by finding scrap off the job and selling it to the scrap lord. Okay, so these machines on the wall are, are machines to sell scrap. Okay, so if you have an abundance of scrap, I guess you could sell it. Sell scrap for credits. Okay. Well, we got 2,500 credits, I guess. You've earned your 10% cut. 10% for all that? There's more to scrapping than finding scrap and scrapping it. But let's move on to other actions expected of you. Sometimes, large objects can obstruct your workflow. We found the best solution is to pick the item up and throw it in any direction out of your work zone. Okay. E to pick up. There we go. And then E to throw again, I guess. No. Oh, right mouse button. Or left button. Left mouse click. Icarus is a massive, multi-level spacecraft, but lifts make getting around manageable. Press use on mechanical walls to activate lifts but be careful of ceilings and ledges. Your scrapper's comp does not cover time off for lift-related crushings and cripplings. So, what? Oh, I see. You have to... Oh, they don't want us to run around anywhere. It was just about opening the door with E. Now what? Oh. I gotcha. There's no music, there's no nothing. That's kind of weird. Oh, hey, wait a minute. Oh. Uh. We do, however, offer free health care for scrapping related injuries. Our lunches are packed with the best drugs available in the galaxy. So you nice. stay healthy and smart and never question your life choices. Very nice. Okay, let's eat some food. Finally, be careful when handling metal crates aboard Icarus. They're pressurized to keep expensive weapon components safe during shipment. Try being not careful. Just this one time. Alright, so what do you shoot those for pickups? Oh, I see. Nice. Alright, we got him. Of course. These are just the basic requirements to perform your duty. But we can tell that you're a self-starter who prefers a hands-on approach to learning, not someone who wants to waste company hours with expensive training modules. We love that spirit. So experiment often and stay safe out there. <laughs>